Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your love reading for the month of January. If you are a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading is for you. If you're on the cusp of a Cancer or a Taurus, please watch their videos to see if they also resonate with you. Um, these are very general. They're not going to resonate with all of you. So keep in mind, um, not all stories are going to apply to everyone. Uh, if you would like your own personal reading, all my links are down below in the description box. Okay, Gemini, I pulled the fish, the clouds, the devil, the tree, the birds, and the um, the world card in reverse. Um, I pulled the ship, the clover, and the four of swords. Wow. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of confusion. I'm seeing someone not sure why they're still stuck on the other person. For some, you're stuck on more than one person. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. For some, no offense to anyone out there, but I'm picking up on a sex addict. That's one of the storylines. This is not the only thing I'm seeing. Um, or someone's, or there's this sort of addicted to sex with your person that you're wondering about. Mm-hmm. No judgment there, just saying. I also see issues about working about, oh, sorry. Issues about work or business getting into the way. And some of you um, want a work-life balance, right? Well, who doesn't, right? But I mean, like, with your relationship, that there's a lot of... It, work is Work seems to be kind of getting into this... Work is made cotton. No, 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 can't talk to. Oh my God, work is causing problems. That's that's one of the storylines I'm getting. So maybe it's not a, okay. So so one of the storylines is a sex addict. I'm seeing here or a, a workaholic. Okay. Um, there they could also be that one of you feels uncertain or thinks the other person is hiding something. It's like, it's like this not knowing with the clouds, okay? Um, if you're married or already committed, you might feel trapped because you're only, I don't know if you are or your person is, but for some of you, there's this feeling of feeling stuck because you feel like you have to be in this relationship because of money, right? Like, um, like if it wasn't, a, if, if money wasn't a factor, you wouldn't be with this person for some of you, okay? Um, the tree, the birds, and the wheel of fortune reversed. The tree sometimes help. By, by the way, the fish can mean money or a lot of something, something of value. This is confusion, disorientation, um, not being able to see things clearly. And the, you know, the devil's like uh, obsession. Um, yeah, it can rule Capricorn. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn or maybe it's more accurate for you, but I don't like saying the signs unless I get a court card. That's just the way I read. <laughs> or if I have like more than one of the same uh, suits. Okay, like the swords or a lot of wands, etc. Um, the birds and the tree. This is sort of like Cancer's reading. I actually did Cancer's before you. I didn't mean to do that. I skipped. <laughs> and then I realized, oh wait, yeah, that's right. Gemini's after Taurus, not Cancer. Um, this is energy all over the place. I got this sort of in Cancer. So if you're on the cusp of a Cancer, watch Cancer's. But this is energy all over the place, feeling unsettled, a lot of stress, right? Because a tree can mean, the tree can mean spiritual, family, grounded, the body, anything to do with the body, the mind, the body, the soul. This is stress or worries, sometimes overexcitement, soulmates, partners, couples, two of something. But I'm, what I'm getting here is feeling very unsettled, or like I said, a lot of stress. You're trying to find a peaceful approach to this stressful situation. Some of you are really stressed out. Um, some of you are wondering whether a relationship is really over. Because why am I getting that? I'm getting this with almost all readings. Is it, it you think it's over or scared it's going to be over? Of course, nobody would be, would be really watching readings if you weren't worried about it, right? But it's like, it's like people are so scared this month. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm just saying. What was I saying? You're trying to find, um, like, like approach this in a peaceful way, trying to find some kind of resolution. Um, yeah, some of you are really wondering whether a relationship is over. 
it, because it's, it's making it hard to begin on a new chapter or what you thought was over really isn't, but it's like, once this person came back, if you're dealing with someone that came back into your life, it's like once this person came back into your life, in some ways you think you made things worse or you, you feel like it made things worse when they came back into your life or that there's no closure with your person, the world in reverse. So it's making things hard for, harder at the moment for you. You know, another storyline I'm seeing is someone you're seeing may not be over an ex of theirs or you're scared it's not really over between them. Right? This is being obsessed still and um, even if the person is reassuring you that it is over, that there's this, but what if what if it really isn't over between them, you know? That kind of thing, that's what I'm getting strongly here. Um, or maybe you're trying, and now if you're already with this person and this is not about an ex coming back in your life, th there's just a lot of instability in this relationship anyway, or marriage. And it has to do with someone stressing out, working too much, maybe not enough sex. Somebody wants more sex. I mean, I know that's general for marriages. <laughs> Because a lot of times when we get comfortable, things start to tie down when, we, when, when people have kids, when, when life gets real, right? When the honeymoon phase starts to fade out, um, then comes the reality of bills and kids and getting puppies, for example, like my situation, right? And, the, and then, you know, the romance dies down for a while whenever you start, you know, bringing in new pets or new, usually it's babies. When you have babies, it makes it more stressful, but it could be you know, anything, you know, or someone gets a new job or someone loses a job, etc. right? I, I understand a lot of people are stressed anyway right now because of what's going on in the world. Um, let me take a look at this ship in Clover. So th this kind of shows me you're waiting for them to change things or you're waiting for things to change, right? Or you're waiting for a chance to jump on this opportunity with somebody. But you're also sick of waiting. Here, it, this is almost like that I'm waiting or I'm kind of, or this is usually, I wouldn't say this is so much a waiting card. This is like nothing happening, but you want things to change. You're not sure where this is going. This is like confusion about where this is heading. So you're not, you're, you're kind of like putting off leaving at the moment. You're, you're putting off, it's almost like some of you are just kind of, and not, not that this is a bad thing, but I'm kind of picking up where a lot of you at the end of the month might be like, you know what? I'm just going to be still. I'm not going to really give a shit. I'm just going to kind of take my time one day at a time and see where this goes. That's kind of what ends up happening. It's like, okay, I'm just going to be chill right here because the clover is a, a, an opportunity, right? But sometimes the clover is being very easygoing, being very lighthearted. That's another meaning with the clover. It's like, kind of like sometimes the clover can mean not taking something seriously, even if, even if you should or you should, you know, whether you not or should or not, that's what the clover can mean. So it's almost as if by the end of the month, some of you just kind of, you, you're so stressed out and all of a sudden you're like, you know what, F it, screw it. I'm just going to sit back and not do anything and just kind of move ahead and move on like nothing happened. Should you do that? I don't know. Just telling you what the cards are saying. Okay. But, but like I said, you're, you're not sure if you should stay, go, or give up waiting to see if anything will even happen, you know? <laughs> the fish, let me look at the fish tree and the ship. So oh, this is still having a strong pull towards trying to leave this, but something tells you to stay or to hang on to what might happen. I, I don't know if you're, you're so some of you, well, being that I do have the fish, so we have two water cards here, the fish and the ship. This person might be long distance. Maybe that's why. For not all of you, but for some of you, this person is long distance, definitely long distance. And you, and some of you may have not even met them in person yet. Maybe that's why. You want each other so bad, but you've never seen each other in person yet, right? You haven't actually been together physically. 
and you know that there's a strong feeling of a connection, soulmate connection, but maybe this person is just too far away. Here's a, and also the world can be travel the way I read it. I sometimes see the world as travel. So we got two long or three long dis possible long distance cards, right? Right. And that could explain the inactivity, but that I, I see all this worrying and all of a sudden, okay, I'm just going to stop worrying. Typical Gemini. Oh yeah. Change your mind a lot. Mm -hmm. My husband's one. I know. I know you guys very well. I've been with him almost 18 years now. <laughs> um, my sister's also Gemini. <laughs> I love Gemini. And my dad, my dad's a Gemini, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I know Gemini's very well. Wait, I'm getting another whole storyline here. I know I, see, I always see different ones, but now I'm getting a, a different one. So here's also what I'm getting, all right? Some of you are worried that your person might take a job that's too far away, okay? So if you're married or already with this person or dating this person, there's, there's worrying about them taking a job that's gonna move them away. So maybe this is gonna be more accurate for those of you that are not in, like you're not living together, but you're scared like, oh, my boyfriend got a job offer or maybe they're going to college and, they're, and it's out of state, right? That's what's also showing up here. Or, or maybe your husband, uh, it doesn't matter, your wife or your husband, your partner, whoever, your other significant other has been offered some kind of job or maybe the wife, it doesn't matter who. And you, maybe you, you're worried about moving and maybe you are together, but you don't really want to move where you're at. But, but here's, here's the thing. It's like, uh, you know, you stop to, you stop worrying about it. You kind of ease your mind. This is being ease, easing, just not do, like, it's like that. I always say that too. I'm not going to worry about today. I'm going to worry about tomorrow. <laughs> That's, it's like being easy going. Like, you know what? We're just going to take where this goes. Just being easy going. Just take it as it comes. I guess I'll label that. Just take it as it goes. Um, but for some of you, like I was saying, you're worried this, this might be a long distance relationship. Now, some of you could be dealing now. I don't always say this, but I, um, I sometimes use this as military jail prison. Okay. I don't know if somebody's going to prison for something they've done about money or they're going, you know, they're in military or, you know, they're in the army that they've been deployed somewhere else. And there's just a lot of, I, it, it's for some, it's just nothing, but just not wanting to be far away from them. So it may have nothing to do with a job, but I do see the fish, the fish's business. So it can be a job. Okay. And then we have the clouds, birds, and clover. Okay. In this row. So this shows worried that this person doesn't even care what happens. That's what, that's what some of you are thinking, or you're the one trying not to give a shit, but you're, you're having a really hard time trying not to. That's what I'm getting here. Drop my crystal. Um, I wonder if that means anything. Um, the clouds across from the ship is confusion over where this is going. Like I said, not, oh, my cat, come on. No, um, the ship and clouds, a confusion about where this is going, which I said that earlier. Okay. Here's the outcome is saying that one of you is going to try and brush this off. When I look at these two, like acting like, like I said, acting like it doesn't bother you. I kind of saw the same thing here. So it's, it's almost, it's almost showing up in some ways twice for you. Like acting like it's not, or like pretending it's not bothering you, but it really is. But here's another thing I'm getting. God, this is, I know, you know, Gemini's always go up and down with me with these readings, like very dressed. Some of you are making this worse than it really is. I hate to say that as if this is not really, well, I'm not, I'm not, you know what? I'm not sorry to say that because that's really what happens with all of us. Thoughts become things. If we keep worrying that something's going to go bad, you will manifest that to happen. You will manifest that to happen. Sometimes, and a lot of times we don't mean to. A lot of times we don't mean to, it's unintentional, but it's still how we, people, you know, it's not our fault. Society has never taught us the power of our minds, right? But in the age of information, choices, and ex it, it's ignorant to be whatever that saying is. <laughs> Ignorance is a choice, right? So some of you are really making this worse than it is. You're, you're, you're worrying, and, and don't get me wrong, I don't blame you for worrying if you're worrying. I'm just saying this is really how it goes. I have to remind myself this every day, okay? Like, it's almost as if when I look at the whole reading as a whole, this is all in your head. 
And some of your fears is based on a dream. And here's an, that's what I'm getting also. Some of this is based on a dream you had or maybe even a, a reading you got from someone. And the message either wasn't that clear, so you freaked the hell out. Or because, like I said, you're letting your mind wander with too many what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. You need to calm the mind. I almost think, I almost think for some of you, this is an advice reading. The whole reading is just advice. And some of, for some of you, it is. It's not really what might happen. I mean, it could be, this is just based on the present energy, but for some of you, I really feel like this reading is just the advice of this month. Not really what's gonna happen. Maybe maybe some, some of it's the past, but you need to chill out. And you know what, and so does Taurus, and so does um, Cancer. <laughs> we all need to chill the hell out, okay? I think the media is really getting to us and everybody else because that's what they like to do. They like to, it is easier to control people when you keep them in fear, period. Whether the news is right or wrong or lying or not, that's, that's their goal. That is the end goal that they want. Do not let anyone control your thoughts. That's why I don't watch the news. I don't want my thoughts controlled. I'll be aware of what's going on. I'll keep you know tabs on it once in a while, but do not let them control your thoughts. And I really see this kind of playing out in your love life right here, all right? Or maybe it's your job situation. For some of you, you might be like, well, this is more of my job going on. Because I did mention somebody might be moving because of a job. But again, you need to calm the mind with the Four of Swords, okay? Also, the Four of Swords is, it would technically be diagonal from the birds, okay? You're overwhelmed. And I, to be honest, when it comes to love, I don't see this as over. Definitely not but more about a lot of worrying that it might be or unfinished business. That there's some kind of, whenever we get the world in reverse, there's that unfinished business, right? <laughs> I do feel for now, the cards are also saying, you know, relax and breathe. Like I said, calm the mind, relax and breathe. And I need to tell myself that every day too. It's not something we just say once or do once. I'm not trying to lecture you guys, sorry. <laughs> And again, if you're on the cusp of a Taurus, watch their video because it sort of said similar advice about relaxing because I think in their video, I said it's not over. So I feel like if you're, if you are on the cusp, like, so, so what is the cusp? If you are born in, so what, what is this, Gemini, right? So if you are born on May 19th through the 24th of May, you are on a cusp. You are Gemini Taurus or Taurus Gemini, okay? So I don't see this being over. I see, I see, and I, I see a lot of worrying about where this is going and not, or worrying because you don't know what's going on to pretending you don't give a shit or trying not to give a shit. And I really feel like it, it's not going to be easy either way. I'm not saying just snap out of it and don't care, but try to control your thoughts because again, thoughts do become things. And I think you're over worrying about it. I don't see this being over regardless. Um, because in honesty, the fish and clover is not bad. It's actually a chance to make uh, this. Okay, when we're talking about business, this is a, a chance for a successful business or work or job. If we're talking about love, this is a chance for this relationship to be successful. So either way, whether it's love or money, I'm seeing this as being good. Okay. I don't see this being, I'm not seeing an ending here. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that helped you. Sorry if it didn't. But again, if you would like your own personal reading, all my links are down below. As always, I will see you guys on my next video.